Hi everybody, this is Ruth Beaglehoe from Parenting with Nonviolence. Who, what a big time we're going through, huh? It is a pandemic. <laughs> and I'm sure in some of your households, it feels like another pandemic is happening within the household. So in these videos, we've been talking about pause. We've been talking about regulation. I wanted to talk for a minute about just really remembering the struggle that some of our children might be having with doing all this online schoolwork. And I've heard of kindergarten children being asked to turn in two assignments a day, you know, or and older children being really just overwhelmed with, and not, not only overwhelmed, but just not motivated to, um, to sit in front of the Zoom and do schoolwork on Zoom. And then there are other children who are actually finding it something that they do enjoy. So I want to just remember that for some children, for many children who are carrying a lot of emotions and a lot of, a lot of heavy feelings in their body, it may be really hard to focus. It may be really hard to find the energy to do all that's needed. So I know battles have come up in households about the schoolwork. I know some of you have been contacting the teachers and the schools about how you want them to support you and being able to support your child with what's realistic for them. Remember that, that the seat of learning is in the emotional brain, in the midbrain. The processes of learning are in the higher brain, but in the midbrain is where the, the how children feel about themselves and how children feel about what's going on around them does affect their ability to learn. So lots of supportive, gentle, kind conversations. Not just, come on, do, 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 you know, making room for the children who are struggling, making room for them to find the things they do enjoy doing. Maybe there are things that you can do together as a family, you know, looking into learning about different, creating projects or playing games, creating space for family games, for family creativity. Playing, playing, playing has so much to do with opening that part of the brain up to be able to function well and to be able to find room, maybe even find room to do a short, short time on the computer with the schoolwork. We have to pick the battles right now. I know many of you, as I've said, are really concerned about the amount of screen time. Yeah, some of you have households, have had households where there have been no screens at all, and all, maybe none during the week, and oh my God, now your children are on it for a long periods of time, partly maybe because you're also needing to work during this time. So, and yes, making the transition off the screen later in the day may be hard, but pick the battles, you know, be clear what your routines and structures are. So if when you've finished work at a certain time, screens go away, then really think about how you're going to use that time, how you're going to provide children. Maybe that's the time of connection. Maybe that's the time of taking a walk. Maybe that's the time of working out. Maybe that's the time of finding a fun, fun exercise video online. Maybe it's a time that you, after you've done some movement, that dancing even, um, that you do some reading. And then maybe it's cooking and baking. I know flour has been hard to find, but maybe it's a little less hard now because of all the baking. So, yeah, yes. Being careful of our heavy judgments, being careful of our heavy criticism. 
Remember, heavy judgments and heavy criticism are coming from places of dis-ease in ourself, maybe fear, stress, tension. So self-regulation, self-care, self-calming, self-loving, oh, all things to practice at this time. Take care, everybody. And please, when you're feeling overwhelmed, you need to reach out for some empathy. Call a friend. See if you can set up an empathy buddy connection with a friend. Writing, journaling, dancing, telling story, the story of your day to somebody who will listen. These are all ways to help lessen the stress. So please reach out if you need support.